This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now, all the hardware components in a personal computer are electrical components. And if they're electrical components, that means they require power in order to be used. Power is either going to be supplied through a, uh, or provided through a power supply, and that power supply can be connected to a wall outlet, or through a battery, a battery for portable computer systems. So desktops will have a power supply, and they must be plugged into the wall to receive the electricity required to power the system on. Uh, laptops will be plugged in through a power supply as well, but the power supply is really just charging the battery, and the battery is providing the computer's power so that if you disconnect it, it doesn't just power off. Not just the computer uh, as a whole, but each individual component has to be connected to a power source, and that power source is either inside the computer or it might be directly through a power co cord to a wall outlet at like a monitor and a printer. Uh, with peripheral components, your rule of thumb, and this sounds kind of silly, but the rule of thumb is if it comes with a power cord, it needs to be plugged in. As I said, that, that sounds a little bit silly and like I'm being sarcastic, but I'm, I'm really not because some devices don't come with power cords. Does that mean the device doesn't need electrical power? No, every computer hardware device peripheral component requires power. It's just that sometimes we have some power running through some of these cables, like the USB connection. It provides power, so things like mice and keyboards and, and small components that would plug into USB slots aren't going to require an external power source. So that's why I say that. Now the first thing to look for if a component is not working is whether or not it actually has power. And the easiest way to do that, stop from opening up the computer, is does it have any lights? Uh, most devices come with some sort of LED, some sort of light that will flash or display when the device has power. And so that's really the first thing to look for if you have any lights. Internal components, they should always have power directly from the system themselves or system itself, and usually these don't need to be worked on. In fact, I need to be very careful if I'm opening up the system. The computer system itself, the box, needs to be plugged into the wall, and then output devices like printers and monitors will have a, a separate uh, power cord. As we said, some devices can get their power through the U USB connection, and then we see our, our rule of thumb, if it has a power cord, it needs to be plugged in. So just keep this in mind. Uh, again, unless you are building a computer yourself, you're not going to have to mess with the power connections on the internal components. They're going to be plugged in. So unless you've opened it up and made some change, this should not be a problem. It is possible for those power supplies and cables to go bad, uh, but that should be several years down the road if you were still using the, the same computer. So uh, the best thing is make sure the box itself is plugged in, make sure you have lights that show you have power, and then you should have isolated uh, or eliminated power as being a, a cause of your problem. But the PC does require that, uh, does require power or else it's just a box full of parts that can't do anything. So collectively here we've looked at the basics of hardware. What we want to do now is take a look at a quick hardware demonstration and we'll walk through identifying the ports on the back of a personal computer.